I had a house, family, every corner at my house. I remember the living room, the bedroom, the garden. It was my dream to have this house. I was working with my wife to build and to uh, have it like this. Sitting, chatting, laughing, smiling, joking. We were buying whatever we wanted, sweets for the kids, chocolates, vegetables, fruits. And we were planning and we had dreams. Our kids were growing in front of our eyes. We were planning for them, their future. All of this suddenly on the 7th of October changed. Drinkable water was not available. Food was not available. We went to Rafah in the coastal side, in what's called the humanitarian zone, which is not a humanitarian zone. It was a hell because strikes didn't stop. And how can I protect my family on a daily basis? I managed to take my family out of Gaza to go to Cairo. Now I'm alone since February. From my place in Rafah, I moved maybe five times. I, I needed to evacuate. Uh, I struggled to, to go to the toilets, the shared toilets. The bath is busy and I have to wait. I'm far from my family. I feel lonely, mentally tired. I need to unite with them, I mean, my wife, my daughter, my two boys. But the first thing, when the war stops, I will do my best to go to Egypt, to Cairo, to meet them. I will try to cross to Gaza City to see my house. Is it still standing or not?